Hello everybody, my name is Kanamiga, and welcome back to fucking Turtle Time, uh, where today we are looking at one of the bigger turtle sets, that being our black and blue rangers, those being Donatello and Leonardo. And um, while we do this, I'm going to clear out from last time, because I just completely forgot to do that, because I am silly and forgetful. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, but yeah, this is one of the more impactful sets because you get two turtles in it. The other sets, you only get one turtle and one basic reused figure. But this time, you get two turtles. I'm sure a lot of people want two turtles. This time, you get two turtles. So yeah, the front of the box is basically the same. You get the similar printing on the green oozy background. You get your two Tom Whalen arts of your two rangers doing their cool little poses with their cool little weapons. You have Power Rangers, X, TMNT, Morph Donatello, Morph Leonardo, all in the Lightning Collection. This is a video for adults, despite what that says. Warnings and whatnot. On the top, we get their two team logos, Lightning Collection, TMNT. Bottom is Legalese. On this side, Donatello's art continues with the uh, Power Rangers TMNT logo there in the corner. On the other side, it's just the MMPR logo with Leonardo continuing. On the back... You get their basic renders, lightning collection, basic more warning information. Nickelodeon and Boom Studios worked on this together, I guess. So why don't we get this sucker out, shall we? Or these suckers, I guess, out, shall we? Yeah, we should. Snip. Let's pull that out. More plastic shells means... More big strength hassle that I am bad at. Which people seem to forget is I love these big plastic shells that Hasbro uses. Like, I'm fine with plastic, plasticky packaging, but, like, it should be like this. These boxes, like, they sandwich them in so that you don't have to fucking break your fingers pushing them out of the packaging. My god, why is that such a fucking hassle? Whatever. Um, but yeah, here we have... Turtle time. On on Donnie's side, we get our blast effects. So here's one. I think this is the Donatello one. It goes on the staff or whatever. The Leonardo one. Again, fairly basic lightning, but in that kind of clear blue this time. They both come with the same sets of hands, so I'll only go over them really once. Let's push them all out while we're here. Yeah, you kind of got to go from the back, and that kind of fucks things up, and sometimes they go flying anyways. God, what the fuck? Where did you go? There it is. Let me grab that real quick. Oh, boy. But yeah, they come with these open grippers and these fists, all of which have three fingers because they are turtles. And that's how they work. Mm. Goodness fucking gracious, I hate dealing with these hands in here. I hate dealing with these figures in the plastic. Like, don't get me wrong, plastic-free packaging was not well designed by ha super well designed by Hasbro. Don't get me wrong. I do think generally they did better with their plastic packaging. But man, it, some things are just easier in their plastic-free packaging, and you just kind of forget about it. And you just forget that they aren't great at designing plastic-free packaging either. Or plastic-filled packaging either. They're just slightly better at it. While we're looking at Don Tell, might as well look at his weapons. So he's got the power axe, but as a staff. Which is very funny looking, because it's just a long axe. Long axe. <laughs> and then he also just comes with a power blaster. I don't think it is able to move or anything, but this is mainly meant for um the power blaster or the big uh yeah the big power blaster so you can combine all their weapons and do the cool thing i'm not gonna worry about that right now i might do that later but not right now it does also work with uh leonardo's uh power katana which are meant to look like uh the blue rangers staff they're a bit short all things considered for stores and have very long handles they are able to combine into one Big staff. But I'll leave them as two katanas for now because that feels more in line 
with our boy Leo. Uh, let's look at their two heads. So, Donatello has this nice purple bandana. He's got goggles, which I've heard is a controversial decision. I don't know, I don't care. He's got a bit of a weird mold mark, but again, I bought these for relatively cheap. These aren't bootlegs, I know they aren't. I bought them from a reputable retailer. They just had them on sale. I really like his face pose. He's like, eh, eh, I'm a nerd, eh. Turtles, everybody. I'm not super familiar with them, so you're gonna get funny jokes like that. Here's uh, Leonardo, the stern leader, so he's got a stern face. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good turtle head. I'm glad they did the turtle heads, I think. It does really make it feel like a lightning collection piece to have those extra heads. So, yeah. Since we started with Donatello with the uh, weapon side, let's start with Donatello in terms of turtles. Oh, yeah, that really does hurt my fingers. There we are. You really gotta get both legs down there. He feels a bit looser than the other two turtles I've worked with so far. But not in a hyper bad way. Yeah, those are on fucking ball joints in there, I think. That's, yeah, that's a rolling shoulder. I don't think I ever noticed that. These turtle melts have a rolling shoulder. That's really interesting. Look at that. And here's Donatello in the uh, Black Ranger costume. Yeah, that is Donatello, all things considered. I, I also really like this head mold. Uh, again, they don't have the lips, which I personally appreciate because I don't really like lips on my Sentai suits. It's fine, it's whatever. I can live with it, but it's whatever. But I do really like the way the tusks look. I, I just feel like these turtle suits are relatively well designed, all things considered. Uh, of course, for being just, hey, we're gonna turn the turtles in the, into the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Not as Power, not the turtles as Power Rangers. The turtles as the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Okay, let's get his staff in his hand. Oh yeah, they all have their belts, but these ones have sashes, which I think slightly changes up their mold because the diamond has to be... Or it might be the same mold and then they just include a basic diamond. But you gotta glue in the diamond and you gotta have it go around the back. So that's neat. Let's get him with his staff in hand. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let me be a weird old timey and kind of racist. Like a fucking whatever the fuck. Like an old man on TV who's, again, kind of weird, kind of old, and kind of racist. Mm. Yeah, I find this crossover really interesting because mentally, again, like, Power Rangers kind of became what Turtles was for the early... What Turtles was for the late 80s, Power Rangers is for the early 90s. Um, that's the kind of commentary I want to give here. Uh, they kind of flow into each other, so this crossover feels fairly... Despite them being, in my head, in different eras, this crossover feels fairly warranted, unlike fucking Cobra Kai. What? Like, like what the hell? Here we have Donatello in a cool pose. Yeah. Let's, let's get out, last but not least, the turtle leader. You can feel me grunting, hopefully. Jesus Christ. Guys. There. Hoo -ah. <coughs> Son of a nutcracker. See, Leonardo's our leader in blue, which is fairly unique, but I guess that's how turtles are. That's a fairly tight neck peg, but again, yeah. Rolling fucking shoulders. That's really interesting. The blue's coming out way richer on camera than it is in real life. The blue's kind of a bit paler, I think. It might be the same blue as on... Yeah, I think these are very similar, if not the same blue. Uh, no. No, they're different blues. They're different blues. I, I just have to look at them a little bit. They're different blues. They're different blues. They're different blues. Sorry, I had to bring out the Cocker Ranger because I had done those previously. Uh, it's nice that they have two-toed feet. That's kind of fun. But yeah, these are molds that are never getting used again. Because, like, what the hell? These are turtles. And since, I mean, no Lightning Collection mold is ever getting used ever again, because it's going on hiatus. I'm sorry to be sad and nihilistic like that, but uh, it's true. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's a neat mold. It's a neat turtle mold, and I'm glad that they 
went so hard on it, especially for those turtle fans. Is it a bit sad that the, one of the best Lightning Collection releases of all time is an, an annoying crossover with a franchise that most Ranger fans might not 100% care about? Yeah. But hey, at least it's based on uh, some media-based material, rather than just being an annoying fucking crossover with Cobra Kai. <laughs> that just kind of happened and heavily reused the uh, the ninja body molds, which were already fairly controversial in the community at the time, just reusing those and making them just random characters from a show that I imagine most Ranger fans have never watched. It's, I mean, I've watched Cobra Kai. It's a pretty good show. I don't, I don't really associate in the same way I associate with Power Rangers, but... Sure, it's a franchise that exists. My Leonardo, my Leonardo has some sloppy paint and some sloppy work, but again, I bought these for fairly cheap. So I can't, and I also don't care too much about these Turtle Rangers, so I can't complain too much, honestly. His chest diamond fell out. That's interesting. That's an interesting bit of engineering. Hmm. I should put them in box order. But yeah, this collection is neat. Uh, for Lightning Collection. All things considered, they're fairly neat figures. Um, I guess I'd recommend them. Um, again, if... I mean, like, most... I, I wouldn't necessarily highly recommend them, just because they're fairly chintzy crossover figures, but they are fairly good figures. Get them if you want them, I guess. That's my, re my uh, first hands-on review of them, I guess. Get them if you're interested. Get them if you think they're neat. I haven't gotten to the last one yet, but we will in due time, I'm sure of it. They are certainly awkwardly heavy in certain areas that you just kind of got to go through a learning curve with how they pose. Yeah, having Hasbro do turtles is really interesting, and they I think they did a fairly decent job at these turtles. But yeah, here we have them in cool pose where I'm going to sign off for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, let me know if you did by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, you need to subscribe probably if you want to see me unbox the final set so that you can see it in your sub box or whatever. Wow, I'm guilting you. But yeah, subscribe if you want. But if you don't, yeah, go ahead. Go about your day. I'm not going to force you. Uh, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more like it. Uh, let me know what you think about these figures, or about Hasbro, or about whatever, in the comments below. Let's have a fun civil discussion, shall we? That sounds like a good time, right? Having just a fun civil discussion with people who also enjoy toys. Uh, but yeah. I'll see you all in the next video, which will hopefully be also fun. Bye bye